find the values of five other trigonometric functions if cos x is equal to minus half x lies in the third quadrant. Before doing anything, let's get our triangle up. So cosine x equals minus half. Just forget about the sign now. Uh, we'll see in a minute why the sign matters and all that. But just for the purpose of understanding, we have a triangle whose adjacent side. So there is an angle x and its adjacent side is 1 and the hypotenuse is 2 by the definition of cosine x. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can find what this third side is, right? So let's just do that. Let's call it some a. So using Pythagoras' theorem, 1 squared plus a squared is equal to 2 squared or a squared is equal to 4 minus 1, which is 3. Therefore, a is equal to plus or minus root 3, right? Since this is a triangle, um, we'll just consider the positive uh, value. So this is a is equal to root 3, whatever the value or whatever the unit is. Okay. Now, focus on this coordinate system for a second. So this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. A stands for all. That means all the functions are positive when the angle is in the first quadrant. Only sine and consequently cosec x is positive when the angle is in the second quadrant. Similarly, tan is positive if the angle is in the third quadrant and cos is positive if the angle is in the fourth quadrant. Okay? So, it says clearly here that x lies in the third quadrant, right? Which means x is in this third quadrant. So, apart from tan x and cot x, because cot x is just a reciprocal of tan x, apart from these two functions, the values of other functions would be negative in third quadrant, okay? So, let's just continue writing down the values since we know all the values. So, sin x, uh, just the magnitude of sin x would be root 3 by 2. And like I discussed, since the angle is in the third quadrant, therefore the value of the function sin x would be negative. So this is negative. And cosec x is just a reciprocal of this. So it would be negative 2 by root 3. Now let's come to tan x. So tan x is opposite side by adjacent side, right? So it would be root 3. And then cortex, cortex would be what? Reciprocal of this, which is 1 by root 3. Let's check the signs. So since the angle is in the third quadrant, tan x is positive. Consequently, cortex would also be positive. Now, finally, we have sec x. So this is just a reciprocal of cos x, right? So we can just write minus 2. Okay, and there we have our answers.